all right guys if you guys can see continuing the updates with the install you can see some big hunk of cables for me to pass them through this uh knockout conduit it's really tough i think this is a one and a half inch uh diameter so or two inches so guys this is kind of tough for me to pass them i already passed them in get some little scrape on the wire uh, on the uh um um heat shrink there and you see it comes all the way up here that's the negative which is the ground neutral on the ground sorry on the battery side and here is the positive so you already attached to the system so now it is the switch for me to flip this thing and get it working but i still have part of the wire right here i have to attach to the battery bus bar inside here so guys this is what is going on and um I'm going to be putting on the, uh, the, uh, this, uh, you see, that's the sign right there. So it's a one and a half, one and a half inches, uh, uh, conduit knockouts right there. So you see right there. So, um, I'm going to try and secure back, um, the, the thing right there to hold the thing that, like a string relief, not to, if someone trying to yank it or trying to pull things, it's not going to just fall off. There's a four, a four, number four hot cable right here at JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share to the video. Stay tuned for more to come. More updates live on the command center as we're going to be starting up the channel. Um, fired up the, uh, the inverter. Everything works and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Um, this is the thing right now. You can see how it's already... Um, the strain relief already hold on pretty well and there's no way I'm yanking this thing right now it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere guys so even if uh, there's gonna be uh, a pool or anything nothing it's not gonna go anywhere so that's how you have to get proper uh, proper stuff to do your installation and uh, we're gonna be installing the terminal on the battery side and fire up the machine stay tuned Love you guys all. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. This is a Magnusine Magnum uh, 4024 PAE install by JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Watch this. Looks all perfect. Really nice. Give it a like and give a you know, comment on the description below. Make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell for more videos and updates in the near future. Bye for now. Well, set up the thing temporarily for the bus bar right there because it's going to be upgrade. I have the bus bars just to set this thing up right now and test it. So it's already in. Let's try and turn the power on and see. All right. Um, we are right there. The main disconnect and see how it goes. Flip the switch at the count of five, four, three, two. There you go. His inverter is on. You see it's blinking, flashing right there. Uh, the power is in now officially. And we got some power in the house. The inverter is on a search mode. You can hear it clicking. And um, yeah, let's see. It's on. Everything is okay. All right, stay tuned for that. We we'll see we're gonna measure the uh, uh, the volt that coming from the legs. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys. Um, the inverter is on search mode right now. So by doing so, before we're gonna do the voltage test using the uh, voltmeter to see uh, what's coming out from each leg, we have to um, take this inverter off uh, search mode. By doing so, we're gonna push the uh, the favorite right here and we're gonna push the uh, um, the dial right here select then we're gonna drop it down when we go to off then we thought you can hear the inverter is gonna hum get a homing sound so now it's off okay so listen to this now look it's flashing okay so it's gonna stay now constant so it's blinking look so it's solid you see now you can hear the inverter running so let's do the voltage test because we already took it on search mode and let's see what the voltage says on this uh 
thing. We're gonna come here and dial this thing and put it into volt, AC volt, and let's get back to here and set it in a way that we can able to put the probes here for the 240, all right? These two is the output. Down here you can see it. Leg one, leg two out. So if we ready to put this one here, supposed to be reading Okay, hold on here quick. Trying to work with one hand here and see how everything goes. I'm gonna set up, do this. I uh, stick the probes in there and uh, I'm gonna be flipping this switch right here that's gonna give the AC out. So the 240, I stick the probe, see how I managed to do that. So let's watch the probe here. You see the numbers are jumping back and forth here. So let's, I'm gonna, Turn the switch on. There you go, it's reading. 233 volt. AC out. That means our power or our connection is working. It's perfectly correct. So it gives you the 240 out, which it reads here to um, the two. 232 volt AC all right so that's the probes right there this is the breaker for it right there when you look it up on that breaker side we just flip here is the inverter so inverter on and the other one is the um, okay uh, yeah it's the far left so this is the the bypass right here and this is the inverter out this is the, sorry, I missed the camera. This is the inverter um, bypass, the first uh, button. And this one here is the inverter out, which is right here. So that's the button we flipped, and that's how we got the 240. Yeah, guys, so it's a 220, 240, which is, um, I think it takes the 115, 1, 115, 115, that's... Uh, 233 but i think you can able to adjust the uh uh the increase the vol the voltage can go a little bit crank it up a little bit for the 240 if that's what you want but this is for 115 leg 115 leg that gives you the two 233 it's supposed to be 215 215 115 115 it's 130 so it's putting out 134 133 so guys everything is working so we got it again and we've done it guys without you guys we shouldn't done we should have done it and look at this uh the the inverter is right here uh the remote so guys this is what it is so that's just showing you different kind of stuff in there you know 60 hertz so it's uh, giving you 114 115 like i said earlier so there's no loads on it connect input amps ac amps inverter charger amps so so i just prove it to you it says 60 hertz right there for uh international which is the north america so guys this is how it is this i'll wrap up the video and this is going to complete our installation on how to install uh, MagnaSign Magnum um, MS4024PAE inverter charger. Right here. This is the off-grid version. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye.